Okay, we've got quite a lot to get through this morning. This is normally um, something like a four, four and a half hour workshop. Um, uh, what I've done is I've actually included in, in the program all the slides we normally use, but for the sake of time, we, we may skip over some as we go through. Um, can I ask that as we go along, if you have any specific questions um, of clarification that you want that you want to stop me just to make sure that you understand what we're talking about, please do so. Uh, but it would be best if we could leave um, other questions uh, general in nature till the end. There will be time for Q&A session at the end. Okay. Just to give you a little bit about my background so you can understand perhaps uh, where some of this is coming from, is I, sh I spent about 22 years in clinical diagnostics in the uh, NHS uh, in the UK as a clinical biochemist. Um, I moved into the CRO industry about 15, 16 years ago when I realized fairly quickly that there was a hole in, <coughs> in the services provided there in the, in the biomarker arena, particularly in the novel type. Um, and some of the things that we're going to discuss this morning will show um, what we're proposing is uh, the best way to handle those, those situations. The other point I would make um, as we move forward is that a lot of what we're going to be talking about this morning, you will see by definition refers to ligand binding assays. Um, the majority of biomarkers that we're measuring quantitatively still fall into that group. Um, but uh, <coughs> many of the, the the terms, the experiments that we're going to discuss apply to other, te other technologies as well. So this isn't purely about li ligand binding assays. Uh, we can apply these to, to multiple other technologies at the same time. So these are the sort of things that we're going to go over in different, uh, different groups. Um, hopefully it'll flow through quite nicely for you. Um, <clears throat> the presentation, well, I, one thing I would say, the presentation, I know there's, there's normally at least two of us give, that give this um, at the CHI conferences. The other two, my other two colleagues are not available. And the only issue there is that one of them is a statistician. Um, so if you have any really complex questions about statistics, I'm afraid, I'm, if, leave them with me. I shall pass them on and I'll make sure that he gets back to you um, with, with responses. But we're, there's, there's uh, little statistics in the, um, in the presentation itself. <clears throat> Much of the presentation is actually taken from um, the white paper on um, biomarker validation requirements that was published by this committee, um, of which I was one of the members. Um, a few years ago now, uh, and most most of the slides, part, members of the committee, we've been using um, these types of presentations for about three years now globally uh, to try and get consensus out there in terms of uh, giving the same message as to what we feel is appropriate in, in this arena. 